Hello friends and enemies. Welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me as well here with a pretty big manga haul for me. Um, so this is everything I've acquired since my last haul into the new year. Some of these were gifts, some of these are books I bought. Whole range. So I'm gonna do this by publisher. Um, I have like a whole nice little pile of books next to me. So I think that'll be easiest. First up, I have my random publisher uh, pile, which includes Orc Erotica. Uh, I need to unwrap this. This is from my friend Shay. She sent me a whole bundle of manga for Christmas. She's the best. I owe her Christmas presents now. <laughs> Listen, the move was a lot, but it's fine. We're getting through it. Anyways, she got me this. I'm really excited. This is a filthy one. Um, and I just cannot wait to read it. <laughs> I'm always down for a sealed manga. Uh, I also got Blood on the Tracks, volume seven, uh, and volume eight's actually about to be delivered, but that'll be my next haul. The other two, this is just like my random one where I don't have a lot from one imprint. So um, the other one we have is Mint Chocolate, volume four, which I have read and loved. I think I read volume four. But yeah, Mint Chocolate, which is a stepbrother romance, shoujo. And then I also have Can't Stop Cursing You, volume one. Shay also got me this for Christmas. And I'm really excited to read it. I love the art in this one already. Like the cover art is stunning <laughs> and the inside art. So I'm really excited to dive into this. Let's do Viz next. So I do have a little stack of Viz book, but it's not as many as I have of, other, <laughs> of others, like my Seven Seas pile, because apparently I really like Seven Seas books. Anyways, I got Nana volume one. I saw it at Barnes and Noble here and I wanted to cry because this is a manga, a show. I watched the uh, drama. I watched a lot of Nana when I was in high school and I love Nana and I was so happy to see the reprint of volume one available again and I'm hoping to collect the whole series this year. Next we have volume five of How Do We Relationship. This is a series that I'm not sure I'm going to continue with. I need to read volume five and make a decision. Um, I'm going to do a dropped video soon, like a series I've dropped I think. I'm getting closest to having enough. But yeah, I didn't love volume four, so I'm hoping volume five takes me in a place I like a lot more. It might just be a little too angsty for me at the end of the day. Next, we have Takani and Hana, volume 18. Have I read all of the series? No, but I really wanted to make sure I grabbed the special edition for the final volume from Barnes and Noble when I saw it, because I do plan on finishing the series this year and probably collecting it physically. I have been reading it digitally through my library, so I just, um, I had to have it because that, that special edition cover is like, adorable. Next we have Rose and Blood volumes one and two. Yes, this video is coming out before this one is out, but my Barnes and Noble pre-order did deliver early. Thank goodness. Dying to read volume two. Um, but I'm really liking this. This is like a weird vampire harem situation, polyamorous thing happening. I love it. This girl gets like trapped at their house and um like she awakens she awakens in a, a gothic mansion with all these vampire men and i'm just loving it so far and really excited to keep reading next we have my babies yona of the dawn 33 and 34. i still have to read volume 34 but i am loving where the story is going still i love yona of the dawn this is my favorite fantasy shoujo i'm reading at the moment when it most likely I'm assuming it will go on hiatus this year. I'm going to be picking up some other fantasy shoujos though too. Next we have Yakuza Lover volume three and four which also comes out on the first of March but Barnes & Noble shipped that pre-order early and is known to, sh to shelve early so I managed to get it and I cannot wait to read this this week hopefully. Um, Yakuza Lover is definitely your mafia romance. I think that these are really fun. They're smutty and they are just a good time kind of insta lovey, but honestly, that's what I want out of these stories, so it works for me. All right, let's do my Kodansha pile because that's the smallest one. We have A Sign of Affection, volume four. This is about a girl who is deaf and uses sign language and has a crush on this cute boy, and it's like their burgeoning relationship. It's so cute. It is a very precious book. If you have not picked this up, I cannot recommend it enough. Then we have Lovesick Ellie, or Lovesick Ellie, volume one. Um, this was a digital only title that finally got released physically and this is about a girl who has like an alter ego online on Twitter and accidentally ends up in a relationship, like a fake relationship with the boy she has a crush on. 
uh, and I'm really excited to keep reading those. Then we have those, then we have those Not So Sweet Boys, volume five. Again, another one I'm loving. I really like this manga, uh, Yoko no Giri. Um, I find that her shoujos, I have found that her shoujos are really, really fun and cute. I really like her writing. I really liked those Not So Sweet Boys. I feel like she expanded on her works in Love and Focus and uh, That Wolf Boy Is Mine in this series in like a really positive way. So yeah, I'm very excited to keep reading this. Speaking of, <laughs> I do have Love and Focus, the complete omnibus. I picked this up during, I think like Thanksgiving time maybe. Um, I found it at the store and said, I need this because I loved this series. And I think it's one of those ones. It's just a really cute completed set. Um, and I love how the little bind. Next we have a series that just finished, which is Wotokoi, uh, Love is Hard for Otaku. These are two books in one, in case you didn't know, but I really, really liked this one. I think this is a great little adult romance. I think it's Jose, but I, I might be wrong, so don't hold me to it. But yeah, this is about two childhood friends falling in love, and we follow a bunch of other people as they fall in love, and the final volume just came out, so I finally decided I was ready to start collecting them physically, and I'd read like three of them digitally and really enjoyed them. Now we have two more and it is my babies again, which is Sweat and Soap volume 10 and 11. I still haven't read volume 11. I am not ready to say goodbye yet <laughs> is the best way I can put it, but I'm going to be reading this soon and I'm very excited for it. But if you aren't reading Sweat and Soap and you want like a really great relationship, these are the books for you. Like it's, we're not lying when like every one of us is wrecking that series. Like there's a reason it's so good. All right, some more. All right, we have Tales of the Outcasts, volume two and three. I read volume one. This is very like Dickensy, y um, about a girl and a demon on like an adventure in London. And I really liked volume one, so I figured I would pick up the next two to see what I think of them. And we have Skip and Loafer, volume one. I saw somebody talking about this, probably Shay, um, but I really liked the cover. I thought it was cute, and I just wanted to give it a go. Um, and it's about a small town girl moving to Tokyo for high school, so. I think it looks cute. I like the I like the whole cover wrap on it. So yeah, I just picked it up because why not? We have volume one of Bloom Into You, which Shay also gifted me, so thank you, and I'm very excited. This is a Yuri. I think they're in high school. They're junior high classmates, so it just sounds really cute, and I love I love my Yuri mangas. Um, then I have daily reports about my witch senpai. This I bought on a cover alone. I will not lie to you. This was 100% a cover buy. I mean. I love witches in books, so I had to have this in my life. I also got gifted, I swear, I won't bother you again, which is about a girl, it's like a girl that's been condemned to jail or something, and is trying to like get out of something she was accused of. And I just, the cover is great, so I'm really excited to give this a go. I hadn't really heard about it until I was gifted it, so I think it'll be a fun time. We also have My Senpai is Annoying, volume six. Uh, another one of my favorite series. I love the full color treatment in these. And I think this is just a really cute romance where we're watching them fall in love and then also some other characters fall in love and it's really just a precious time. I have three volumes of BL Metamorphosis and this is about a girl and a grandma who both love boys love and their burgeoning friendship. So I picked up all three because I really wanna read these. Um, and I was struggling for a long time to find them in store. So when I finally saw all three, I picked them up and I'm definitely going to be reading them sooner than later. Next to the last one Shay got me, which is Manly Appetites Volume 1. I'm so excited for this. Uh, I know this is about two coworkers and like one of them loves to watch the other one eat and it just sounds adorable. Um, and I love our little pudgy uh, love interest. Then we have Bite Maker Volume 2 and 3. So uh, this is an Omegaverse manga and I'm really enjoying it actually. It's kind of weird, it's very strange. If you're not familiar with Omegaverse, I recommend looking into it. It's definitely not something that's going to be for everyone. And I think it's probably for less people than it is for them. But I love that it's getting traditionally published like this um, and isn't digital only. So I'm picking them up as they come out and reading them. Then last but not least in the manga category, we have Scarlet Volume 1 and 2, which I've read. This is a complete set. These are a Yuri manga about a vampire and a werewolf shifter, and they're... Hmm, I don't know that I loved it. I don't know that it's a series I'll keep on my shelves forever, but I did enjoy my brief time with it. Uh, I may reread it eventually before I decide to unhaul it, but it is definitely a series I could see myself getting rid of in the next year or two as I run out of shelf space. All right, last but not least is my light novels. 
I want to try new formats this year. Oh my gosh, that's stacked next to me. It's fine. Anyways, I really wanted to try some new formats this year and I know a lot of people were so excited when the this got announced that I thought I'll try these. Like this feels like a good option for me and that is the MXTX uh, light novel. So I have Heaven's Official Blessing number one. We also have the Scum Villain Self-Saving System Volume 1, and we have Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation Volume 1. So I don't know anything about these, to be honest with you. Um, I know that this, like two of these, I know there's some dramas with this uh, author's work. So I'm excited to give this a go and to read them. I, again, I've not really read light novels yet, so I'm, I wanna try them. So if you do have light novel recommendations, let me know down below. I would like to, maybe pick a few more up this year and like do some tasting. But yeah, that's all of the uh, manga I have bought. I will probably be back sooner than later with another haul because oh, I have a problem, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, I'll have a video soon too where I'm setting up my new house bookshelves for manga. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, let me know if you have any light novel recommendations and if there are any of these you want me to do a review on specifically as a video or like a reading vlog with or First impressions, <laughs> that's the word. Just let me know in the comments. And if you don't wanna do that, you can leave me a book stack emoji because holy crap, this is a lot of manga for me in one haul. And I will have links to all these books down in my description box for y'all, as well as links to be my friend anywhere on the internet. And I will see you in just a few days, bye. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions we'll